News at 10. I began to think that there had to be some kind of recording system in the White House and was wrestling with in myself about asking Butterfield a question about that and having it suddenly be revealed that there are recordings of all of President Nixon's conversations. A Roachport man remembers the painful decision that ultimately led to the downfall of a president. Good evening, everyone. I'm Savannah Guthrie. We'll have local reaction to Nixon's death in a moment, but first, our top story. Well, President Nixon was honored around the world today by world leaders and by ordinary people. One Missouri man had an extraordinary impact on history. Don Sanders was an attorney with the Senate Watergate Committee. He worked for Republican Senator Howard Baker of Tennessee. During a four-hour interrogation of Nixon aide Alexander Butterfield, Sanders says he began to believe there may have been a recording device in the Oval Office. But he knew once the question was asked, it would change the course of history. Before I asked the question, I seriously uh, considered that there was a strong possibility that he would say yes to that. And I wondered whether I wanted to be the one to bring that into the light of day. I really did have a sense before I asked the question that it was going to be um, a very historical question. Sanders is a former Boone County Commissioner. He worked in Washington for more than a decade. But very few Americans have had such a close vantage point on history-making events. But the 37th president is remembered both for his trials and his triumphs. Of course, it remains to be seen for which scandal or success Nixon will most be remembered. But it is telling to ask those who weren't old enough to know him.